Dear students, welcome to our history lesson and today we are going to discuss on the new topic especially on environment, technology and evolution of man. My name is Enoch Julius. Welcome very much to the discussion. Our today's lesson is guided by the three objectives that gives our expectation. The first objective is that describe the process of evolution of man. The second objective discuss the tools used by the man during the stage different stage of evolution. The third one, I expect you to explain different act economic activities that were used by man at different stages of evolution. Dear students, the first question that we have to ask ourselves is, what is the origin of man? Or what is the cradle of man? The origin of man can be explained by using two different theories. The first theory is the theory of creation, and the second one is the theory of evolution. Let us start to discuss on the theory of creation. A theory of creation states that man was created by the Almighty God. And since man was created, he has never changed. God created man to master nature. And no time when man became the slave of nature. This theory of creation is well explained in two different holy books. These are the Bible and the Quran. In the book of Genesis, the Bible, chapter 1, verse 26, 29, it explains about the creation of man. Also, in the Quran, we can see also the issue of man is well elaborated. A theory of evolution. This is another theory for development which explains the origin of man. The theory of evolution was first developed by Charles Darwin during the 19th century. And this theory states that human beings are subject to gradual changes in their genetic and the physical environment. As a result of competition and scarcity of food and scarcity of resources, the struggle, the, the organisms undergo what we call the struggle for survival for the fittest, in which the strongest organisms in the process of struggling throughout the environment survive and the weak organisms perished away. As we can see in the picture, it showed that in that video, it showed that man was alone in the jungle, as we can see in that picture. Evolution of man. What is the evolution of man? Evolution of man refers to all changes taken in the development of man in different stages, phases, or periods. Historians have done countless researches regarding to the evolution of man. In the process of evolution of man, man has passed the in four different stages. The first stage is called Australopithecus. The second stage is called Homo erectus. 
The third stage is called Homo habilis, and the fourth one is called Homo sapiens. The first stage of evolution of man, that is called Australopithecus africanus. And at this stage, man lived between 17500 million years ago. Also, man was known as the nutcracker during this stage. Man were bipeda, bipeda. Had a very big skull with a small brain capacity of about 550 to about 600 centimeters cubic. The weight of man was about 68 kilogram. Uh, the common name for man during this stage is called Zinjanthropus. The second stage for the development of man is called Homo habilis. Homo habilis lived from approximately 2.5 to 1.5 million years ago. Homo habilis had a brain size of about 500 to 800 cranium capacity. It is said that Homo habilis was an early tool innovator or the tool cracker who could use and make different stone tools. The fossils of Homo habilis were discovered by Dr. Leakey and uh, his wife Mary in Odvai Gorge. Another stage for the development of man is Homo erectus. Homo erectus is said to live between 1.8 million years ago to most recent to around 1,400 1, years ago. He had a brain size of 850, 850 cranium capacity, greater than that of Homo habilis. He was bipedal, and also he discovered fire and makes life during that period simple. The main uh, economic activity were hunting and the gathering. Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens means the intelligent or the thinking man. Homo sapiens lived between 200,000 years and 50 million years ago. Homo sapiens has a brain capacity of 1,000 to 1,800 cranium capacity. His brain was similar to the brain of modern man. He lived by hunting, gathering, fishing, and domestication of plants and animals. He used the fire to cook raw food. Homo sapiens lives in caves and used microlith tools. early stone age. This is the period that lasted between 1.5 million years ago to 750,000 years ago. At this time, man was involved in hunting and gathering and collection of fruits, herbs, vegetables, etc. The tools made at this involved the chopping tools, pebbles, hand axes, uh, which technology of making them were highly rudimentary. Some remains of these tools are found in East Africa, in Odovai Gorge in Tanzania, Olonga and in Songhezi in Uganda, just a few examples to mention. Here are some of the early Stone Age 
that were used by man in different uh, parts of the continent, and some of these uh, tools were uh, found in Tanzania, especially in Isimila, or Dubai, and, the, and different places. The Middle Stone Age. Middle Stone Age lasted from 750,000 years to 50,000 years ago. During the Middle Stone Age, man used smaller and sharper tools than those used during the Old Stone Age. Example of tools include spears, knives, which were used during uh, different activities, defensing, security, food preparation, etc. And uh, another remarkable development during this stage is that man discovered fire. Uh, as a result now, he started eating roasted food. The New Stone Age lasted from 50,000 50, before Christ up to first millennium. At this stage, man used the sharper tools compared to early and middle Stone Age. Man also started domestication and farming. Man started to have settlement in different places, especially in caves. And uh, one among the evidence of this that shows that man lived in cave is through the rock paintings in Amboni and the Kondoa Irangi in Tanzania, in which you can see different drawings that were drawn by man and they are of a very long time. It is said about 50,000 years old. The paintings are there and show the origin and the good history of man. Iron Age. Iron Age started during the first millennium AD, in which now man was using iron tools or the microliths. Some of the common iron working societies in Africa include the Aksum, the Egypt, the Meroe, the Nubi of northern part of Africa. Iron was discovered in particular stones or clay, which when, when it was heated and cool, it changed to some iron particles. Common working iron sites in Africa, as already mentioned, include Engaruka, Karagwe, Uvinza, Ugueno, Iteso, along the lake shores of Lake Victoria. Some of the stone age, early iron, iron tools can be seen there. Dear students, let me leave you, may I leave you with this assignment? Write a short essay of about 100 words describing the process of evolution of man. Thank you very much. See you next time.